Hey, welcome to this shortwave radio channel. And um, I just posted a video for those that are looking for the one on HD SDR on how to have the frequency correction so that your f displayed frequency and the station you're listening to are in sync. Uh, one of the problems with the Soft 66 is that it is off a little bit, and a lot of SDRs are actually off, especially low cost SDRs. But there's correction and frequency that you can do in the software. So if you're looking for HD SDR, I've done a video to show where to go in HD SDR. This video is showing you where to do the error correction in SDR Sharp and how to actually do it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is get yourself a signal of accurate frequency. A signal that you know is always correct on the frequency it uses. It could be a shortwave broadcaster. Most of them are pretty good. But the best, if you can, tune with a signal like uh, WWV or CHU Canada or stuff like that. So here, for example, I have in the peak WWV right here. But the problem with that peak is that it's off. It gives me an off frequency. Of course, the best thing that you can do is zoom, first of all. Zoom in on the signal you want to listen to and go and click that signal. So here's basically WWV real close here. Once you've got that frequency of that station correct, um, you know, any station, like I said, will do. Uh, say I use, um, I go to 9445, so I'm going to go to 9. 445, which is All India Radio. Uh, I got into my ICOM. I can confirm the frequency is correct. So it's 9445. But when I'm tuning, you see that the peak is off. So basically, it's more like 9444. If you want to tune it correctly, you have to tune the correct frequency in SDR Sharp. Look at the peak. Of course, like I said, zoom in so that you can actually uh, make sure the peak is right in the red line here. So that peak here should be in the red line. Go into the settings on the upper left. Down, frequency correction, parts per million. Click until the peak reaches the red line and is centered on the red line as much as possible doesn't have to be perfect but it has to be as best as you can and there it goes I've just corrected the frequency once that is done you know that the frequency displayed should be okay with pretty much all the transmissions so now you can zoom out and you know put your uh, SDR back SDR sharp back in the way you wanted but now you'll know that when you tune a signal you'll be smack on frequency not displaying um, you know an error in the frequency at the top of the window so it's pretty easy but you have to know now there are some tweaks that you can do for frequencies because uh, lower upper sidemen seem to have slight differences but we'll uh, talk about that in another video so that's how you do the frequency correction in SDR sharp this was for the Soft 66, but it's pretty much the same kind of uh, correction that you'll do on pretty much any SDR that you find is off frequency. If you like my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And thank you so much for following me on the channel.